Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. Uh, this video is the start of a series of videos which I'm going to be doing uh, looking at trans tracks past and present. We'll pull a snippet out and I will show you what the melody or the chord structure looks like. Um, I've always tended to have a good ear for these things so I thought I might as well put it to good use and show you guys what's going on. Um, just bear with me on the voice, it's a little bit raspy because I'm a little bit ill still. <coughs> Uh, but nonetheless, I hope this video doesn't annoy you too much. So, um, we're looking at this track by Steve Allen and Zach Mir, uh, Way Back Home. Uh, had an instant connection with this because it's very classic trance, it's got some of the classic vibe, uh, but at the same time, it's it's still got that modern twist to it, but I like its original trance vibe. We seem to be going back to it, the, the roots of trance from when it actually first originated um, in the 90s. So, um, my workflow will start with pulling out the best part of the audio where the melody can be heard, the chord structure in particular kind of on its own, so usually in the breakdown. And I will take bring it in and I will head on over to uh, the media and the pool window way back home. I'll do the beat calculator in the project menu here. Uh, beat calculator and then just tap the space bar to the beat or the snare and then double it and that will give you your tempo. So this is 138 so I key that in there and then I put musical mode on. So what that means is when you slow the tempo down the audio also stretches out to match the time. Um, very simple stuff. Um, so if you're struggling to hear some of the notes you can slow it right down and really hear it slowly paced and that does make things easier. So I've got this at 138 which is its original and I've just played along with it uh, a bit of trial and error and worked out that it's in D minor. You can find out the key, uh, you could go into beat port and find the key there. Um, but I've just done it straight off the top of my head and it's in D minor so D minor is including uh, let's get my arrow key off there, uh, is D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C and D. So that's your scale that you're working with and it does have a relative major which is the F major so it's exactly the same just in a different position. So it still has that B flat. Okay, um, so the, the track is in D minor. Uh, so let's just have a listen to it. I can't play the original audio, so go and reference that first if you want before we start here um, until I work around the copyright stuff. So let's have a listen. So it is a three note chord, uh, even though there's only two at the top. So if we take those two notes and then the D in the bass, so that's the first chord. It's actually a three note chord if you actually transpose that D up to this D. Okay, so there you go. Straight away we know it's in D minor. We've got a good guess that it's in D minor just from that first chord. So all he's done is transpose it down and then if you just split it into its three main chords, which is this one, this one, and this one. So we have the D down here, then we have the C down here, and then I'm going to have to move the A up, and then we have the A here, where, which would be further down, but my keyboard is on tiny on the desk. Um, and that's really the main makeup of it. Uh, if we actually jump into the MIDI, um, there is a few little things. So it starts off with like a very slow paced melody uh, chord structure, um, pace so we have this very do 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 and then it jumps a little bit to give it a bit of character so it really paces a track and with the vocal line as well it really works together nicely um, and also uh, just adding these drop notes in here, I like to call them drop notes, is where you've got this kind of... So you're not moving the top note, you're only dropping the, the bottom note of that chord sequence. Um, and it just adds a bit more character, so if you listen to that here... Now if you just put them back up to where they're meant to be... Yeah. 
it would help if we didn't have that one on. It's a little bit too monotonous, so just to get a bit of character. It takes away the fact that those three bars are repeating exactly the same chord throughout the middle section of that uh, phrase. Um, so that's 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 really it. It's just a little insight into how the melody is being composed. Uh, the vocals kind of sit up on the G. So let's just show you on the MIDI keyboard. So it'll sit here and it kind of uh, moves around these three notes, which keeps in with the scale as well. So if the vocal had to rise up another note, it would go here because we know that D minor has the B flat in. Um, so the vocal kind of hovers around all that area there, those four notes. Um, that's just a guess, because I haven't actually uh, mapped that out. And usually you probably could go into the audio, because this is not just a vocal track. Um, you can go into the audio and then use Vario Audio and use Pitch and Warp, and then it will show you the notes of the vocal. But because there's a huge chord structure here and bass and everything, um, it's not accurate whatsoever. Uh, but that's also another good way to pick out the notes and make sure that you've got it all right. But you know it's good. you know you got it right when you play the track over yours because it's all in time and it works. Um, so yeah, that's that one. So I don't know if that'll help if you need to do remixes of this track and stuff like that. Um, I can put the MIDI for download maybe. Um, just let me know what you think. Um, we can adapt these videos and make it a little bit more suitable for you guys. Um, but again. I think it's quite useful sometimes. Uh, you don't get the true melody representation or nobody's really interested in that particular track, but you are, and that's the most annoying part of things. So let's see what happens. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.